So you want to start using resistance. How should you do it? Find out in this video. Hi, this is Andrew Sheaf with Mastering Flow. I help triathletes identify the critical skills for fast swimming and I provide them with the tools to learn those skills in any location. For a free eight week technical training program to help you get your skills on track, click on the link in the description below. I've given you a lot of tools for improving the size. I've given you a lot of tools for improving your feel for the water by changing the size of your hands. It's time to amplify those effects with resistance. When it comes to implementing resistance, remember the saying that less is more. You don't need a ton of resistance and you don't need a ton of volume. Start with less, give it some time, and only add more when you've been really successful. Likewise, stick with short distances at first. This ensures that you are swimming well because fatigue isn't yet getting the best of you. In terms of actual implementation, the best strategy is to use resistance to prime your learning and then do some regular swimming afterwards. For instance, you do a couple repetitions with resistance, you do a couple repetitions without resistance, and then you go back and forth. This allows you to get some practice with the resistance while also staying in touch with regular swimming. At first, it's perfectly fine to spend more time with resistance relative to regular swimming, and as you get the feel for it and you get the hang of it, try to spend more and more time doing regular swimming, incorporating what you've learned while doing the resistance into your regular swimming. Check out the key takeaways for summaries of these concepts. To make sure you're notified when future videos are released, please click the subscribe button below as well as the bell icon next to it. It really helps me spread the word about more effective swimming and the more I can do so, the more videos for you.